Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today we're going to be replacing some door gaskets. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. I went ahead and picked up the door gaskets. We have four doors, we have three large doors and one small door. Let's go ahead and get started. So I picked up these door gaskets with the model and serial number for this unit. Let's just line these up before taking them out. These definitely need to be replaced. They're super dirty too. This is a dough box for a pizza station. So this does match up. That's looking good. And what we could do is take a little flathead. See where it starts. Start in the back. And try to push this out. Once you get it out. You could just pull from there sometimes it's a little hard to start sometimes you could just pull it out in one shot all right i'm getting there there we go got it cracked open from here we can pull or we'll pull evenly and these are the popping types so be very careful all right it's coming out it's looking good sometimes it breaks apart the door so be careful all right it's, cool. it's all coming out there we go it's out it's a little bit of gasket still on here i'm going to scrape that off and then if you can see we have a channel in here you want to take like a little flathead and just make sure that it's clean inside so you could actually pop in and it doesn't pop out so let's go ahead and get a rag, wipe this down, clean it all up, and also get rid of this little bit of gasket that's left over. Guys, this little leftover piece, guys, this little leftover piece is not the gasket. It's actually a piece of the door that came out. So it's missing on this side, it's missing on this side. Just gonna have to let this be. Just clean this up and make it as flat as possible. Throw this nasty stuff out. So I just took a wet rag with hot water and that's it. That's all I'm going to use to clean this up and that typically does the trick. Now that everything is wiped clean, you want to get in there all the way to the back and just go across. Make sure all the dirt is out of there. Like on the bottom here, I can see it's piled up. Things like this are going to prevent you from having a good seal on that gasket so make sure to get all that stuff out of there this door is damaged but it's a very old unit it is what it is but let's get them a gasket for today over the years i learned some tricks if you take the gasket and just try to install like this it is possible but your fingers are going to be aching after there's a trick to this and the trick to that is to put this in hot water once you get in hot water, everything softens up. So when you put it on, you can just press it with your fingers and it's so easy. So let's go ahead and start soaking these. Super hot water, just let it soak for a couple minutes. All right, so this is looking pretty good. It's, water gets inside here, so make sure that all comes out. Squeeze it out, make sure it drains. And we could begin the process. Usually start on one end, like right here, and just literally push in the tab. Super simple when you heat up the gasket. It's not gonna fit too perfect on here as the channels are a bit broken. So I literally just go ahead and literally pop it in. And you can take like a little mallet and kind of smack it in. 
and give it some time. All right, I'm just gonna wipe it down because it was a little wet. That's looking beautiful. And the door locks now, perfect. You can just see the light peeking through here. This door doesn't fully close. Losing cold air. Freeze this all up in here. This thing is done. So you can't just rip it because then this thing just starts ripping. So you want to get a flat end in between here. And there's so much dirt in here. This is kind of gross. What kind of blowers are these? Oh, I'm not going to pay attention to that right now. <laughs> Let's focus on this. So while I start prepping that area, I'm going to start soaking this. So this can be ready by the time I have the door prepped. This whole door is coming apart. All right, got this one. Sheesh. Yeah, careful when taking these out. Parts of the, oh my God, that's so nasty. Ooh. Oh. And you guys, you know, I've done some nasty jobs. Not much to complain, but that was gross. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is just, oh, they're gonna have to pay for this. Oh, all right. Terrible. I need a scraper for this. Just keep on cleaning. See parts of the door are falling apart. It's looking a lot better. Let's clear out that channel. Everything's nice and soaked. Start from the top middle. Get that going. Then I do a little pinch here on this end. Make sure everything's lined up so it fits. Do a quick pinch on this end and this one. And then I just go around. You can kind of feel when it pops in, it like goes into place. You feel it, it's looking good. Let's just keep going down. So that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much gonna continue from here. So basically take a flathead, pull these out, clean off the door, clean out the channel, soak the new gasket in hot water, and pop them right in. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.